Hey everyone, welcome back to the range. My name is Matt, also known as the king of armor destruction, and I've got a really special armor test for you all today. This is a true armor piercing round in 556. This is a 52 grain tungsten core projectile. It has the black paint on the tip. I was curious if a SBR could be stopped shooting this with level three plus steel. So it just so happens that we have the RTS tactical level three plus AR 600 here. We're gonna use a brand new fresh plate. We're gonna be at 45 feet, which is the NIJ testing distance. We have our giant clay briefcase that we stack that on. So we have a good compressible media for the body armor. We have a seven and a half inch and a 10 and a half inch SBR that we wanna check. If at any time one of these does penetrate, which I think it has a good chance of penetrating, I think we can take a follow-up shot and put a piece of soft level 3A behind it and see if once it penetrates that, if it still has enough energy and forward direction, you know, if it's not tumbling or oblong shaped to penetrate the soft armor. It's about 65 degrees outside today, so it'll allow us a few moments to reposition everything and we'll see what we can do with this cool round. All right, folks, we've got everything positioned the way we want it. We've got multiple camera angles. We've got some slow-mo going down there. We have our seven and a half inch upper that we'll use first. We've got a turbo 556 on there. We have some pseudo blast shields. Since this is, since M995 has a tungsten core and I don't know if out of the seven and a half inch, if it will penetrate, it could ricochet. So maximum protection is preferred. We'll take one shot with the seven and a half inch and go check it out. And like I said, if it does penetrate, we can add some soft armor behind it to see if that would stop it. Velocity 2433. We'll go see what we did, folks. This should be pretty self-explanatory since there's only one shot in here. Here was our seven and a half inch shot right here, really far in from the plate. It's a steel plate, so it does a pretty good job of providing full edge to edge coverage. Let me get my straps off here. Place your bets in the comments below. Uh oh raggy there is a penetration right there in our plate so that means we don't need to go to the ten and a half inch because we know the seven and a half inch will penetrate that is the equivalent to at least i think two or three hundred yards out so that's pretty amazing that m995 can do that so what i want to do now is i think we'll put a piece of level 3a soft armor behind it but based on how that's a clean hole I'm pretty sure it's still gonna penetrate. All right, we've added a level 3A backer to our plate. It's a rhyme league from AR500 Armor. It's a 100% aramid fiber. We'll take another shot from the seven and a half inch and see if the fiber level 3A can stop it. Let's go see what we did. Here is our second shot right here. We are more than two inches away from that previous shot. That is considered a fair hit. I don't have much faith in this combination stopping that bullet. We shall see. As expected, there is our pass through right there. This was a brand new panel. Here was our shot right there. And oh raggy, there is a clean very nice hole through there. There's the back of the plate there. Interesting. So at many hundreds of yards, M995 AP will ruin your day. Well, that was a certainly fun and interesting test. Besides myself, I do believe Going Ballistic is the only other YouTube channel that's actually used M995, at least in the last you know five years or so, on camera against any kinds of materials for threat assessment. That seven and a half inch SBR gives us velocities of many hundreds of yards down range. And that M995 punched a hole in a hardened piece of AR 600. That's simply amazing from a little 52 grain projectile. Even throwing that level 3A backer behind there had no influence on it and it just kept going right through. As we close this rather short and sweet video, I always take a moment to thank all those who helped make this possible. Number one is my Patreon supporters, and of course, you all for watching. Until next time, I'll catch you at the range.